Hi, my name is Manash Hussain and I'll be presenting this short video about the work of the paper titled Why Work Start to Support Student Wellbeing and Anxiety. The paper was written by Manash Hussain, myself, Daphne Economo and Jeffrey Fergus uh, from the University of Westminster based in London. And the paper is presented in the Immersive Learning Research Network of 2021 conference online in VR. The outline of this presentation is the core question, the scope of the research, the studies, the challenges, discussion and future work. Starting with the core question, the first one is do the user feel more confident to use a conventional website versus a WebXR interface involving virtual human to review their mental health status? This question was asked mainly because Every university nowadays have a conventional website and they do offer services for mental health and well-being. Um, but the question here is to understand if the user gain more information from a conventional website or from a WebXR interface, which involves a virtual human, explaining the services and taking a self-assessment questionnaire to see what the user mental status is. But the second question is do the user feel more confident to share confidential uh, information about the mental health and engage better interaction in a WebEx environment with one or more virtual human taking the role of virtual life advisor? This question was mainly asked to understand if the user is more comfortable expressing their mental health information to a virtual human or to a real life human. But as we know, COVID-19 restriction limited those type of services and based all the service online, such as um, email and online meetings. The third question is, does the use of scuba framework support the creation of VR ex experiments that have emotional reasoning and impact? Moving on to scope of the research, which are investigating way to improve the student well-being service, uh, measuring immersive user satisfaction, such as in efficiency, perspicacy, and dependability, and examine the effect of virtual human in emotionally engaged with students. Uh, these points are expressed to understand what can we do to improve student well-being specifically in times like COVID-19 which increased a lot of mental health problems for students and uh, to understand that is there any different way we can help the student rather than just the typical online help which is website and emails and online meeting which again they're the great services but to achieve the service you have to wait in a waiting list and um, for example the University of Westminster waiting list it's about two weeks this is due to amount of student applying for their services and uh, we want to see if there is a um, a second way to help students with the services already available and to make them understand that these are the steps that you can take to improve your mental health. The study involves comparing three prototypes um, to support the student well-being. Uh, these three prototypes are the conventional website that which will have a self-assessment quiz, a WebXR prototype with one virtual human and another WebXR prototype with multiple virtual human. The three prototypes will then be put into a comparison test to investigate a way to improve student well-being services and to see if the student is more comfortable um, understanding the services and uh, taking part of the assessment in a conventional website or if the student is more comfortable with a WebXR environment but split into a one virtual human or a multiple virtual humans. The second 
prototype, the WebEx R1 virtual human, will have a virtual therapist and a self-assessment questionnaire. The virtual therapist will have all the jobs of explaining the virtual session, to connect with the student, to talk about the services available uh, at the university, talk about general information about anxiety, and um, to also speak about self-assessment questionnaire and what they can uh, do based on the score that they achieve. The third prototype, which is the WebXR with multiple virtual humans, uh, will have a receptionist, a therapist, a self-assessment questionnaire, a secondary person for university service for mental health and well-being, a third person for general information about anxiety. The session will be introduced with the receptionist we will talk about the rules and how to move around the virtual space uh, which will then pass to a therapist that will talk to the user and have a connection with them and uh, introduce the self-assessment questionnaire which then allow the student to understand what uh, what is their mental health status and how they can improve and what they they could do to to get better. So the second person will be introduced by the therapist which will um, explain to the user that they can interact with this person to understand more information about the university services. Along with the second person there will be a third person which will talk about uh, general information about anxiety and other services that they can look into if they're not satisfied with the university service. Moving on, on to challenging discussion and future work. The paper right now is in the developing stage. So the planning of the study to run online and uh, granting ethical approval, it's ongoing. Due to the COVID, obviously recruiting the necessary participant, it's, um, it's challenging uh, because of the restriction measurements given from the government of not meeting uh, face to face so this needs to be done online. The future development of this project will involve extending the WebXR prototype by integrating gamification that might support students better to, uh, to set goals and help them deal with anxiety, speaking in a future way to um, create the software that could be implemented in the university website and allowing students to just if if the student is having issues with the conventional website or the services are not available to him um, due to the timing maybe uh, they can interact with this virtual environment and get the help that they need Thank you for watching this short video about the paper. We hope to see you in the live conference and able to answer all the questions about the paper. Thank you.